Hello everyone, I am Rishabh Vinj and I have with us Puneet Singla from Delhi Technological University. Hi Puneet. Hello. So Puneet has recently grabbed a job offer from Expedia. For those who don't know, Expedia is a global American travel technology firm and a dream firm for a lot of people out there. So Puneet is a final year student from Delhi Technological University and he's here with us to talk about his interview experience and the course experience from the courses done at Coding Ninjas. So uh, congrats Puneet once again. Thank you. Sir. So uh, you know you have made it to one of the biggest tech company out there. So uh, how was your interview experience? Well the interview experience overall was really good like uh, the people were really helpful over there with the interview uh, and uh, they asked me a bit uh, like database questions and uh, data structure questions and it went really good. How, how many rounds of interview did happen? Well, there were three rounds. Uh, the first in the first round, they asked me uh, data structures and algorithm based questions. The interviewer even asked me like what was my favorite data structure and why I liked it. Okay. Uh, so I told him hash maps. I like kind of like the implementation of hash maps. Hash and, maps. Yeah. Okay, you hear it, hash maps. Yeah. And uh, moving towards the second round, uh, they asked me database based, uh, based questions. Uh, they asked me SQL queries and uh, also they asked me uh, like if I were to organize the data in a huge organization. So what all uh, steps uh, like what kind of databases and uh, schemas I would be using in that. Okay, okay. Yeah. And in the third interview, it was supposed to be the HR, uh, but it didn't happen. So in my case, they asked me a little technical questions about uh, like a kind of app that was like Uber and what all uh, parameters would I would use to make my algorithm more effective. Okay, great. Yeah. So that was it with the interview rounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how many courses did you do at Coding Ninjas? Well, I did three courses from Coding Ninjas. Okay. Yeah, the first one was uh, basic Java, uh, like data structures with Java. Okay. And the second one was an, uh, an advanced course in machine learning. Great. Yeah, and the third one was competitive programming course. Okay, three courses. Yeah. Foundation course in Java, then machine learning yeah. and competitive programming. Yes. So uh, how did these courses help you, you know, to crack a company like this? Well, to begin with, uh, the Java Foundation course was really great with the basic stuff. The, like I actually learned coding over there. Uh, I didn't know how to code before that. So uh, it was, it, it took me from very beginning level to a very like pro level kind of I would say. And uh, I, I got really comfortable around all the data structures, uh, especially arrays, strings, hash maps and, you know, trees also. Mm -hmm. Uh, so it got me really comfortable with all these data structures such as tags and queues. Okay. Yeah. And uh, moving towards the second uh, second course, uh, machine learning. Okay. Yeah. It was an advanced program, so you you kind of re need to have a prerequisite of data structures for that. Mm -hmm. So our instructor, Mr. Ranku Singla, was really patient throughout the course, and he helped uh, to you know, and he taught us each and every algorithm in very detail. Like also, we implemented these algorithms ourselves. So we, you know, got to know a better idea like how these algorithms work and like if we were to implement them in a real time situation. So how would it go? Like how things would go about? Mm -hmm. And finally, the competitive programming course, it helped me practice uh, coding online a lot. Like, you know, it gives the feel about how like uh, before the interviews, there is this online uh, coding competition for the tech companies. So it helped me, you know, groom with the coding. Uh, for that, like for that round. So you participated in a lot of competitions also. Yeah. Great, that's nice. So when you talk about these courses, so Java, you have mentioned that you learned the basic, the fundamentals of coding. Competitive helped you, you know, participate in all those competitions. When you talk about machine learning, you were telling that you implemented a lot of algorithms. Yeah. So were those algorithms implemented in projects or something like that? Yeah, projects also, and uh, like we worked on uh, like. Uh, Knowing the basic of the algorithm, I was able to work on a project in Expedia that was on real time data. We didn't use any predefined algorithm. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, you have to know okay, like this is my data and uh, what can I do with the data to get some analytics. Mm -hmm. So there kind of I had to implement my own algorithm. Mm -hmm. It was uh, uh, influenced by decision trees, but still it was not perfectly decision trees. Okay. So I had to code the decision trees and uh, that and it was like it was very good to know that, okay, I can, I'm able to do this. Like the basics were strong, so you can do anything with the algorithm. So these things really helped you move from the theoretical knowledge to, to the, the implementation. Yeah, part. to the practical that's, knowledge. That's yeah. so nice to hear. So now what advice you would you know, want to give to all the people out there? A lot of people, they are aspiring from for these dream companies, for these tech companies. What advice would you want to give to them? 
first of all like uh, you know most of us expect the college to help us with the to get us a job or something but we should know that the college is not going to help us in that way like it will give you like courses that are very redundant i'd say so you know you have to look up for yourself and find out ways and you know join institutes like coding ninjas like that will you know help you with coding from very basic and you know it it just it not just give you help with coding but it helps you throughout the course like it gives you a competitive environment and you know the students here are very nice so it helps you with a lot of that stuff secondly i mean uh, most of us like me i joined the course in second year so i was still a bit late i would say like join early like ju just get to start from the beginning itself like in the first year itself join the foundation course you you know the coding basics after that you know you can go and uh, you know explore other options like web development and uh, machine learning as i did so you you'll have a lot of options there so you can explore many other options as well so so i would say that what he is saying pudit is saying is start early yeah. build a solid foundation yeah. and then maybe you can decide what kind of path you want to carve for yourself you can go into web developing you can go yeah, into exactly. machine learning you can go into competitive programming but i think you have to start somewhere yeah and uh, you know coming from pune who's from dtu delhi technological university which is one of the most premium institution of india that you know you cannot only rely on faculty and college yeah that you is you have so. to work hard for yourself also so uh, i think that's great thanks pune for coming and uh, all the best for your future all thank the you best so for experience thanks a lot thank you rishi